composition and movement with art and animation. Reflection. In art, you need to use reflection, whether it's used for realism, or even when making art look more natural. Have you ever seen a painting of Bob Ross's? You would see it looks really natural and realistic. A, a big reason behind this is how he uses reflection. You can tell when he uses reflection, he typically has a mountain or a tree reflecting in the water. It may, as I said before, it makes the painting look more realistic and more pleasing to the eye. Rotation. A simple animation is making the ball move. For that, you need to rotate the object. So if I were to make the ball move, I would put the center of rotation in the middle of the ball and have the object, which is rotating to a side. For example, if I take the right side. So I would have the object move towards the right side while rolling at the same time. Enlarging shapes. Enlarging objects is something all artists do. It can be used for perspective or when using a reference. For example, the sketch is increased a little over two times than the reference. If I were to uh, sketch something out for my idea, and I, then I would enlarge the sketch so that I can add more details to make it the final image. You can also use in perspective. So if I were to have a road, the road, the center of the road would be really small, and then it would end up looking larger as you come close to it. A thing to know is that the center of enlargement is the same center of enlargement and the object's distance is the same as the object and image's distance. Translation. In many animation softwares, you can enter the start and end location of the object and the transition will be given accordingly. If I were to give the boat a certain place where it would start, I would have another place at the end, for example, if the slide was 60, the frame was, would be 60 then that would be the end result. I would have slides in between filling it in. So in that, uh, would use translation. A few examples of reflection, rotation, translation, and enlargement. As you can see, the house is being reflected in the pond, which is showing reflection. And in this painting, the shape is being rotated and having different patterns on each side. Here the shape is translated into different spots in the image and here we have enlargement which is being used in perspective where the tree is being enlarged to give it more of a natural look. Thank you.